right, what's going on YouTube? You can see we got the snowmobile trail behind me. I think that means we're going snowmobiling. It's uh, Tuesday. I should be working probably, but I mean, this is work too. We actually tried to go for a little ride yesterday, but for some reason I didn't decide to fill up my gas before we went up. And uh, yeah, I didn't have enough gas, so I had to turn back. A lot of snow has melted since yesterday, but we'll go up see what we can find. You know, I think we'll just be doing some trail riding on the 154 Turbo. But I guess some riding is better than no riding. snowmobile gear other than gloves helmets and boots because it is cooking out here feel real naked not wearing my knee pads or chest protector any of that stuff feel wrong really yeah lots of snow left up here on the north face and hills it should be fine Trail ride. So kind of up in here, not like literally right here, but it's where I've done most of my off-trail riding as a kid. I mean, this isn't really uh, what it's all about, but there might be a couple rocks here. noises down here. Definitely wouldn't be any point buying a turbo to ride around here. Let's see if we can get anything out of it for a turbo sound. Hardly anything. Just on acceleration. A little bit. A little nervous about hitting something under there, so take it easy. It's nice to just be out here though, enjoy the nice day, get in the last little bit of riding for the year. It's crazy how many tracks are up here this year. Like every single logging road up here this year has tracks. A couple of years ago, you'd never see that. Should we uh, do our side hill on the famous side hill here? Pull up the camera. <laughs> it seems like a waste, but <laughs> may as well. All right, you guys ready? This is gonna be some really exciting stuff here. <laughs> Side hill up and above this little crappy creek here. Just try and work our way through the trees here. This is like the boondocking you see them doing, like the uh, the UP of Michigan. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> Not really enough snow for this. <laughs> I think the sled definitely like runs smoother, higher elevations. 
like a little foggy maybe down here. Yep, I think this is uh, pretty much the last day for doing the loop up here. Unless you're gonna be all right with running some gravel. The bush kind of always looks like you could ride through it here, but then you get in there and it's way thicker than you think. See what it's like through here where there's no more road on the Skitter Trail. Yeah. Uh, oh, buddy. Oh, Rocky. So when I was younger, this used to be a logging road that we used to always like to come up. See how overgrown it is now. I can almost carve on it. Oh my god. A little bit overgrown. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> and that was it. We just come up here, do a donut. And then go back down. I just want to take a quick minute to talk about the sled here and how it's been for me this year since I got a lot of questions about it. If you don't know, this is a 2021 Scudia Freeride Turbo 154 with a 3 inch track. And it's been an amazing sled for me this year. It's been flawless. It's got just over 3000K on it now. This sled out of the box, it just straight up rips. It works really well. You don't have to make any changes to it. Uh, a couple of small things that I do is the shorter handlebar riser, 4.7 inch, which is on the experts. Then I've got a monster finger throttle as well as a couple other monster parts in my wrap. But for handling characteristics, just the riser and the finger throttle is all I change. And pretty much leave the sled bone stock. I crank up the suspension just a little bit. I don't like it too stiff because I still like it to be playful. The turbo has been an awesome sled for me this year. It's ran flawless, like I said. I think I'd have a pretty hard time going back to a 154 non-turbo. Ride with some guys that are on the non-turbos and the difference between this and those is pretty obvious. And that's why you'll probably see me on one of these again next year. Uh, the 154, in my opinion, is kind of the perfect all-around length for doing the type of riding that I like to do. With I like to ride the trees. I like to do the playful bow tie re-entry type of stuff as well. I know lots of guys prefer the 165, but for me, and only being 155 pounds, the 154 is the perfect sled. If I could only buy one sled, it would be the 154 Turbo. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got to say. Let's get back to it. Usually I go up here to this ice in here, but <laughs> it doesn't look like there's much snow to get in there. <laughs> what are you doing there, tree? Oh, I hear the water running through there. I've came up to this spot the last two years, so I wanted to come up here again. This will be the earliest ending for coming up here. I just want to thank you guys for an amazing season. It's been the best year ever. Not just because of YouTube, but <coughs> throat's a little scratchy from talking louder over the sled here. But yeah, such an amazing season. We got to spend 76 days on the snowmobile, thanks to you guys. I think by the time I'll have this video uploaded, 
There should be 28,000 subscribers. That's pretty cool. About this time last year, I think we weren't even at 1,000 yet. So that's a pretty big growth in such a small niche like the snowmobile community. And it's really cool to see. I'm excited to see where the channel is going to go next year. I'm sure it'll be an even better season. I mean, I don't know how you could beat the season we just had, but I'm sure it's possible. Anyway, that's it for this season. Loading up the sled for the last time here. And thanks for watching.